Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit. This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So I just got this text message from my husband who's in Laguna Beach right now. Um, he is completing up the last of his final... Um, qualifications for being a certified trainer with warrior and uh, and it's been rigorous grueling to get all this done and still run his other business and be in a marriage to me and be a father and you know all this other stuff right it's been crazy what's been required but I'm so fucking proud of him but here's what he's just sent to me today he's like he's like dude because you know because we call each other dude (laughs) we seriously do I'm not even joking about that my kids and I call each other dude as well, too. We're just kind of a dude family. But he sends me this message, and he was like, he was like, hey, Jesse, who's, um, who's like the head coach and the head trainers there with Warrior for the Warrior Weeks. I know his lovely wife, Katie, very well. And um, he said, hey, Jesse and the certified trainers said, like, you look like a different man today. They were like, you looked really sick when you came down. And uh, my husband had his Crohn's, and so he deals with pain every single day. And so... You know, he was definitely feeling like a lot of a, a flare-up. And, you know, when we got down there, a lot of stress with stuff and traveling and different foods. And, you know, it's just life is life is tricky for my, my king. It is. You know, he, he does the best that he can each day with it. But it's not fucking easy. It's harder because people see it and they go, dude, you look like a good-looking handsome man. Like, you can't see it, right? Like, you can't see the inside stuff that he feels. And, uh, and it's not that he covers it up because he doesn't, he talks about it, but he just doesn't want to focus on it. You know, he doesn't he's kind of stop having the story of I'm this guy with Crohn's. Like it is his story. It's who he is, but he's just decided to live his life with it than to stop what he wants to because of it. So they, they sit in the text. He's like, let's say I look like a different man today. Like you look sick before and like, you just, you look so different. And so we've, we've talked about this, you know, we've talked about the importance of Ed being like sunshine, outside fresh air, ocean, all those things are happening in Laguna Beach for him right now. But I think the bigger thing I see is this, is as much as Ed loves his business with, it's called Laptop Lifestyle Mentor, um, and he's so good at it. Like, my husband's fucking brilliant. He's brilliant. I know I'm biased. I know that my son kind of like, oh, okay, whatever, Karen. But no, he's, he's fucking brilliant. People pay him a lot of money to get his feedback and his coaching and his insight and he's... He's so good at it, but he's also so good at a lot of things in it and often will will find himself doing things he doesn't necessarily love to do simply because he can do them well and not really staying in where, where I see. Not, not my decision, not telling him what to do. It's his life, his business, but where I see he really does best, which is, which is to lead. And that means you're, you're, you're kind of taking that more macro, that bigger picture look, and you're not down in the dirt like doing the work, doing the tech stuff building the funnels, like, you know, doing that kind of stuff. Like it's really, it's seeing the big picture of it. And he's so good at that. But yet when he started with, with his coaching program with, for men called men of iron and using warriors way technology and tools and science behind that to really lead these men, you know, the first experience that he had, this was in November. So I'm recording this now it's towards the end of April, 2018. It was November, 2017. I think it was then he had his first his first event and um man I could just see in his eyes as soon as he came back I'm just like I and you know it was it was interesting because I was I was almost a little bit I'm like mm, I don't know it's such an analytical guy I can know I don't know and even with all of the my bad just got interrupted by phone call this is what happens when you record your podcast on your phone so, um, yeah, so I was, you know, I, I wasn't really quite sure if Ed would be able to, I knew that he could do it, but I was like, mm, he's, it's going to be difficult. You know, I, I, um, I believed in them. I, I know he'd done all the work that was necessary to lead up to be able to lead these men and living in himself. But I was like, mm, I don't know if he's really cut out for this. Like it's deep fucking intense work. And, um, he came back and he started sharing stuff with me and I just saw it in him. I just saw it and I was like, oh my God, babe, you were fucking born to do this. He was so fulfilled. And it wasn't as if in his, his other, his current business or one of his business, cause he has these two now that he's not fulfilled in that, you know, 
But I think the way that he kind of explained is like, you know, it's it's one thing to be like, hey, you know, I helped I helped this guy like, you know, make a lot of money, right? Which is cool, right? I mean, that's going to translate to like how he's able to provide for his family, um, how he feels by himself as a man, as a provider. It's showing the value that he's creating and whatever he's doing in the marketplace. And obviously people pay you dollars when you give them value. Like there's all beautiful things with that, but it's just not having the same feel for Ed anymore, you know? By all means, this isn't about like down with money, like be fucking wealthy. I think it is your birthright to. I don't think broke serves anybody. It doesn't. Certainly doesn't serve you, but it can't be for that. Do you understand this, the distinction? The outcome is money. Like the end result is money when you provide value for others, but it can't be like it's for that. And he said, you know, he goes, the thing is, Karen, it's like, like, that's all cool to go, hey, I made all this money, you know, with these, with these services and products and with this coaching and man, what a difference this has made. It's allowing me to do this in my life. And that's so beautiful. But he says, another thing to have a man go, hey man, like this is saving my marriage. It's another thing to say, hey, you know what? I was actually thinking of ending my life a week ago. And then I saw your video about your event. That's a whole different plane, right? And what I saw from Ed or what I see in him is when he works in the men of iron is one word that comes to mind. And I thought of this as he just sent me this text, which is alignment. He's in alignment with who he is. He was born to do this. He's choosing it. He was born to lead at this level. I was born to lead at this level. I feel it. I feel it. You know, when I, uh, you, maybe this is you, sister, but I have a lot of women that reach out to me and they're like, oh my God, like, it feels like you're inside of my head. It feels like you're speaking to me. And listen, there's, there's no like marketing tactics and techniques to like, you know, people are like, oh, picture the person in front of you. I mean, I guess I kind of do, but I'm just sitting here having a conversation with you. But the reason that it connects with the women that it does is because of alignment. Because I am who I am. Because I I absolutely walk my talk. Because I am fucking real about it. I'm going to show you everything, man. I talk about the times that I yell at my kids. Times I've lost my shit with my husband. The times that I just feel like, what the fuck am I doing? Right? Doubt, uncertainty, fear. Everybody has those things. I talk about all these things. I know this is my path that I'm walking because I feel it. I know that when I look at pictures of myself from two years ago, I'm almost like unrecognizable to how I was. You know, yes, I get my lashes done now and well, that's really the only like whatever. I was coming color in my hair for years and getting nails done for years and you know, but there's a difference, right? There's a difference. When you're living in that complete alignment with who you are, there's a sense of peace and purpose that you just don't have otherwise. Like, I physically look different on the outside because of it. I look younger. I, th- I think I think I look better. My body is better, but yet I actually used to work out a hell of a lot more. I did. A lot more. There's a difference, and it's alignment alignment. So here's my question for you today is I want you to open up your journal and make two columns. And on the one left-hand side of the column, you're going to write where I'm, where I'm in alignment is, and you're going to write down what that is. And on the right side, the other column, you're going to write where I'm not in alignment is. And you might notice that things come up or things like maybe like, like, you know, where your alignment is, maybe what you do, right, for, for work, for business. It's like, man, you're just so fulfilled by it, right? right? Or where your alignment is like, you know, how, how you are as a mother to your children, like how you serve and take care of your family and your friends. Where you're out of alignment might be something like how you take care of, of yourself. Uh, you might be out of alignment in, you know, maybe, maybe you're telling your husband what he should do, but yet you're not doing those things. Um, you're wanting him to listen to you and yet you're not listening to, to him. So where are you in alignment and where are you out of alignment? Those two columns, left and right. And then see what insights really come up from this exercise. It's tough, right? Because you got to tell the fucking truth. I mean, you could lie. You could go, nope, I'm in alignment here. Nope, 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 nope. Everything is great. And I was like, really? Everybody's out of alignment. Everybody needs to like, everybody slips at times. Everybody kind of drifts. Everybody kind of looks back and goes like, hmm, you know what? I'm I'm not really in my lane right now at all. I'm going outside of this. Like I'm, so I'll give you an example. Like right now too, I'm in, 
uh, an amazing coaching program. Amazing, amazing. It's, you know, it's a self-study thing and there's like, there's, there's Facebook trainings with it and that kind of thing. And you can get your questions answered and like, amazing, amazing. But what I'm noticing is that the people that are often attracted to this program are really in the analytical side of their brain. Like we got to figure out how that funnel works and how that, how to write the copy for something and how this is all online. So, and how to like, how to get my message out. Like, is this okay? Is that a, like, I operate so like who I am is very intuitive and I operate at that level. It doesn't mean that I, I'm not studying, I'm not learning things, but I know it gets to a point where it's like, now I've had enough of that. Now I have to execute it. Now I have to do it. I had a, a client of mine who had shared her experience inside the sisterhood. When you're not in the sisterhood, you fucking need to at least go ahead and check it out at drkarenosborn.com slash sisterhood and see what this is all about. But Natalie had shared her experience sisterhood and she sent me the video and she's like, oh, this is what you're looking for kind of thing. And it was, of course, it was awesome because she's awesome. And uh, and said, man, like you make this shit look easy kind of thing. And it's like, wow, do you want to know how many videos I've shot? Thousands over about the last six years, right? And what I found is, yes, for that, like there's so much that I can learn and then I have to go do it. And I'll do it imperfectly. Go Google my name. Go look back on my YouTube channel from like five, six years ago. You'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Never see me like that. And I'm not going to take any of that stuff down. You want to know why? Because you need to see it. You need to respect the progression. You need to see where that comes from. Because so many of you see the end result and you don't see everything else. Right? You might take a look at my husband and I together for 25 years. See your date night pictures and go, man, you guys like... Like, it's so great the way you talk about each other. Yeah, you haven't seen the years of fights. And still the fights at times a week collide. That's part of marriage. I talk about it. But a lot of you either either don't hear it or, like, you just, you can't believe it. You just think that, you know, somehow it just ends this way. So, for me, I need to, like, I need to learn and then execute. I need to learn and then go do it. And they have that kind of as part of the content and the structure. But even more so. So, I find myself feeling, like, out of alignment when it's, I start to go really heady into the, the tech stuff and the analytical and that kind of thing, I need to just like get the concept and move, like understand something and execute and put action and movement behind it. So I notice, I feel myself getting out of alignment when I go into there because I get to this really stuck place. I feel contracted. I, my breathing, it's funny as I explain it, my breathing feels different. I just feel like I had to take a deep breath because everything just felt like kind of constricting on me as I just, I'm explaining what that experience is like. So really see where are you out of alignment and where are you in alignment and what, what do you need to do? So here's the next, next piece of this for this, this more tip. Where do you need to, um, take some action on this? Like in the next 24 hours, see action is going to happen when you do it quickly. So the next 24 hours, what action can you take from the insight you've, you've discovered from this, from this experience? So sister, a couple things I want to leave you with before finishing up the podcast. Number one, I mentioned the sisterhood. You need to be in it. This is for you to not feel like you were all alone because you're not. For you to get some clarity in the things that you want. For you to be able to heal your marriage. Be more connected with your children. To have energy for days. To connect into spirit and purpose. Like the sisterhood is about that. This is powerful women that are like you. That are really like. They want to really create a brand new them. It's really what it comes down to. And so head over to drkarenosbrun.com slash sisterhood. And you'll take a look at what this group coaching program is all about. And you get to actually try it out for seven days for a dollar. A dollar. That's it. DrKarenLosman.com slash sister. Number two, make sure to subscribe to the newsletter. Holy cow. So many of you are not already. I'm going to send you a couple things. Number one is the more for action guide, how to start your day in power as long as a video training and two other exclusive videos that I had only inside private Facebook groups on how to drop your stories and create new ones for you to really remember who you are. So that's at drkarenosbrun.com slash action guide. All these links will be in your show notes. You can just click on. And number three is one one two more store. So because you're listening here on the podcast, I want to give you 10% off your entire order for you to wear who you are. When you receive the newsletter, you'll see pictures I'm posting up from that of customers and women that are following the message from around the world that are getting the t-shirts and the tank tops and the beanies and the trucker hats and the mugs and the hoodies. And really, again, talk about alignment. They want about how they feel on the inside, their beliefs on the inside to reflect who they are on the outside and to really wear who they are. So that's at shop.womanwantymore.com. Shop.womanwantymore.com. 
woman12more.com. Enter in the discount code podcast at checkout and I will give you 10% off your entire order. So I will talk to the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from you to the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter. 